let's talk about me, shall we? What's up, socials? Happy Social Thursday. Today we're talking about Twitter and how much I love it and enough to have too many accounts. I get the question a lot of why do I have two Twitter accounts and I actually have probably more than that, but the two in question would be the Schmitastic Twitter and the Savvy Sexy Social Twitter. You know, it's a really good question and most people even just skip that question and go ahead and say, hey, should I have a separate Twitter for my blog? In which case I usually say, uh, now. Nah. Honestly, I don't know if I made the right decision with that. I started the account because I knew I needed to save Savvy Sexy Social on Twitter. Nobody else should own that. But then when I launched the blog, I did start using it for all those communications. Partially because it made sense, but mostly because I didn't think the people that were following the Schmitastic Twitter account, who had been following me for some time before I jumped into this social media marketing world, would really care care about that information. So it was kind of out of nervousness of what people would think about it, I guess. And then I stopped using it and I just started telling people, hey, follow me on Schmatastic. I can't handle this whole two Twitter account thing. I'm over it. If you want updates, go over here to Schmatastic. So I would share resources to a lot of things on Schmatastic, similar to what's happening on Savvy Sexy Social today. All my blog updates, all my videos, everything would be there. But I found that I was getting feedback that those people, again, like I thought in the beginning, didn't really want to see that stuff. They were just following me because they liked me as a person. So I started using Savvy Sexy Social again and I haven't stopped and I have kept it separate that way. I like that I do have this separate personal Twitter account because it's more focused around me and the things I care about. And then the Savvy Sexy Social Twitter is more for resources and where you can stay tuned and on the cusp of information in social media marketing and business and all of the resources that I share on the blog. So essentially, you break it down, Schmatastic is a personal account and Savvy Sexy Social is for all of the blog communications and additional resources. That's how I think of it in my head and that's how it works. I actually have a VA that helps me with the Savvy Sexy Social Twitter. However, I'm the only person that replies from either one because I want you to know that I'm listening in both cases. The reason why I don't recommend it in most cases for other people is because typically when you are a personal brand and you start a blog that is supposed to boost that brand, it's supposed to boost the type of business that you you bring in, it's all really working on one thing. If pe somebody likes you, then they like what you're doing. So in a way, I kind of regret the fact that I have two Twitter accounts. I would probably just use one. But on the other hand, when I think about, okay, what if I just cut it off and move it over? I like some things about the separation too. So because of that, I like to keep them separate. It's making it much easier for me at this point. I think you would have to decide on your own individual basis. Is what you talk about personally so different sometimes? that it's recruiting this audience that isn't quite sure about what you do, but wouldn't mind hearing about it every once in a while? Or is it a situation of you are completely immersed in this content, that's all people follow you for, so you should really only have one Twitter account because the content that you share is gonna be right in line with that? I think I'm probably the latter, but I just see the perks of having a separate account and therefore have kept it that way. I think people like the separation because they get to decide like I really only care about Amy in a thought leader standpoint and what she has to say about this industry and I don't care as much about her personal life and vice versa. And I have noticed that it is working for me because I have I think 8,000 followers on Savvy Sexy Social Twitter and I have 8,000 followers on, uh, one of those is wrong. I have some, there, there are a certain amount of numbers on each side. I don't remember what they are. But what I have checked is for how many of the same people People are following both accounts and it's only about a thousand people so there are a lot of people following me on both accounts that don't necessarily want to follow the other one and it's not because they don't know about it because God knows I talk so much about both of my accounts so hopefully that gave you some insight as to why I have two Twitter accounts it's a little bit screwy I don't know if it really helped you figure it out but odds are if you have four followers a hundred followers a thousand followers on Twitter and you're thinking about starting a separate one don't bother it's n completely pointless it was how I felt about about starting a separate YouTube channel when I only had a certain number of followers to begin with because it was the cool thing to have an iPhone channel and I didn't think it was necessary for me in the beginning because I didn't have enough YouTube subscribers to make that make sense anyway. It's the same thing with Twitter. If you don't have that big 
of a following on Twitter, having a separate following for the blog is really not gonna make a difference. Your strategy is all that matters at that point. That's all for today's socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. As always, make sure you subscribe to my email list, Amy's Elite, so you don't miss a beat. The link's in the annotation below. It's also in the description. That's my email newsletter. You'll get all my videos and my podcast, which comes out every Friday on iTunes and Stitcher, just in case it's a lot to be subscribed to all these different places. I get it. Trust me. But I also have an open email policy for anyone that's subscribed, so you can send me questions, comments, concerns, anything you think about anything. I get emails from people constantly. Sometimes when I go check my policy, literally I have five emails from the same person. And I'm like, whoo, they care. And that's so fun, but it's only for people that are on that list. So make sure you subscribe and let's chat. Let's see if I can't help you a little bit better. Make sure you catch me on iTunes tomorrow for the Marketing Lifestyle Show and I will see you then.